What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 63 and we start today's episode off with a game against Bolton Wanderers here at the Reebok Stadium in the FA Cup round of 16. So of course we saw off Ipswich in the last round and uh, again we rest the entire side because... Let's face it, I'm really not that interested because at the end of the day, we have got bigger fish to fry. We have got the Europa League second leg in midweek, uh, round of 32 game against Bilbao. Um, of course, we take a 2-0 lead into that game away at Spain, so that's a big game for us. And then next weekend, we've got the Capital One Cup final against Arsenal. So we've got bigger fish to fry, man. Like, I, I really don't care about the FA Cup. We're doing so well in the league. The other two competitions are going really well for us. I don't care about the FA Cup. So we do rest uh, the entire side. The only player who um, would be considered a first team regular is, of course, Leal Guterres and, of course, Alex McCarthy. Uh, those two started. However, I don't mind playing Guterres because Beavers is start, come, starting to play really well at the moment and sometimes he does get into the first team. And, of course, McCarthy is our goalkeeper um, and his stamina is quite good for a goalkeeper, so he's perfectly fine to play whenever we need him. So that's why we of the entire side and the first couple of chances came to us the first one was well saved by Bogdan and the second one was cleared off the line but in the 25th minute here Scott Malone wins the ball Junior Stanislas rolls it through to Dongu and again Adam Bogdan makes the save so still Bolton nil Millwall nil and in the 34th minute here another good chance for us it's given away by Ream, uh, intercepted by Danny Ings. The ball comes to Junior Stanislas, who chips the ball over the top towards the run of Dongu. Dongu runs through, but sadly again, Bogdan makes the save. So still Bolton nil, Mill nil, unfortunately. We just couldn't get the better of the Hungarian goalkeeper, who uh, was playing really well. And in the 41st minute, well, disastrous struck because... Jack Hobbs made a challenge here and the referee gave a straight red card and again it is a debatable decision we've seen so many debatable decisions uh, refereeing decisions this season I can see why the referee gave it I can see why it's a foul and a red card however it is certainly one which would cause a lot of debate uh, by the pundits in the studio and I personally wouldn't have given a red card however I can see why it was given so Jack Hobbs is sent off here and we're down to 10 men and that's a real shame because we were playing so well and uh, now we'd have to play the rest of the game with 10 men but in the 48th minute here uh, Danny Ings wins the ball uh, plays the ball through to Junior Stanislas who runs through but uh, sadly again Bogdan makes a save and for anyone who's been a long term subscriber to me you'll know that I always struggle against Bolton and in particular Adam Bogdan so it's still Bolton nil mill or nil but in the 54th minute Don goes through again and uh, once again uh, Adam Bogdan makes a great save just could not be him really and uh, that is a familiar feeling for me because I always struggle against the Hungarian goalkeeper but in the 70th minute here uh, Danny Ings is onto the ball gives it to our uh, striker on loan from Dortmund he rolls the ball through to Danny Ings I see the run at the far post of Junior Stanislas I pick him out and Stanislas finds the bottom corner so a great finish by Junior Stanislas and for the entire game it was Millwall attacking and Bolton struggling to defend it was ridiculous despite going down to 10 men uh, Bolton didn't sense that Bolton didn't see that we were down well obviously they would know we were down to 10 men but they didn't seem to sort of react upon that you know you would have thought that as soon as the away side go down to 10 men you put the pressure on them you know you pass the ball around and you you try and you know beat them um, with, with the fact that you've got a man advantage but instead Bolton didn't seem to want to do that they just thought nah screw it we'll try and defend as well as possible and try and take the game to a replay and it just seems stupid so we did qualify uh, to the next round of the FA Cup we are through to the uh, quarterfinals here um, after that win against Bolton but again it, it was crazy I thought after Jack Hobbs got the red card we would be lucky to take the game to a replay. Instead, we completely dominated and we are through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, which is great news for us. As I say, I'm not really that interested, but of course, the further we progress, the more money we get and the happier the board will be. But uh, straight after that, we saw that Liam Trotter comes to us and said, when I signed my contract with his club, you made, uh, made me certain promises with regards to my role here, but I do not feel that currently you are fulfilling those. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about, man? We dropped you for that game against Bolton for no other reasons than the fact that we A, needed you for fitness reasons, you know, you weren't as fit as the other players, B, we don't care about the FA Cup, and C, we've got bigger fish to fry. We've got the Europa League game against the Fleck of Bilbao. This is a huge game for us with Millwall. I want you as my captain starting this game. Why are you complaining? It's it's those things that I really don't like about career modes. You know, the EA, EA need to do more work on that. You know, they, they should know. Those players should be intelligent to know why they're not playing in games which, quite frankly, the clubs don't care too much about. So that's that's really frustrating. But um, there you go. It, it's, it's just frustrating because it means their morale drops. And I don't like that. But um, there you go. It, it shouldn't matter too much. But even 
shouldn't say. Um, straight after that, we did have the game against the Fletch Bilbao here on Thursday night. And uh, we did rest a couple of players because we had a Capital One Cup fine against Arsenal on the weekend, which is a huge game. But uh, how cool did that look, by the way? The stadium with the mosaics, um, with the uh, fans clearly holding up the cards. How cool does that look? That is awesome. Seriously, the next-gen graphics uh, and the next-gen stadium animations, they are so cool. So we take on Bilbao here, and the first chance did come to Bilbao. Of course, we have a two-goal lead in this game, so Bilbao needed to score at least twice. And he had the first chance there, but the shot went wide. But in the 34th minute, they did get the first goal of the game. The cross came in, and the header went past McCarthy, and Bilbao had the lead here in the 34th minute. So we did rest a couple of players in this game. We did rest quite a few players, and uh, sadly, it looked like it could possibly come back to haunt us there. A good cross into the box, and uh, unfortunately for us, the header did go into the back of the net. So Bilbao took the lead here. Of course, you know, we could still lose this game 1-0 and qualify because of the fact we had two, we had a two-goal lead in the first game, but it was still not nice to concede early on. And in the 47th minute here, Bilbao threw again. It's uh, by Gomez, who missed a penalty in the first leg. He played the ball through to Benat here. He went through and put the ball past McCarthy. So the one thing we didn't want to concede, uh, sorry, the one thing we didn't want to do was concede more than one goal. And we had conceded more, more than one goal. We were 2-0 down. Benat gets the goal, and Bilbao are tune it up here so as things stand on aggregate it is two two with zero away goals for both sides in the 65th minute how about this McCarthy with an awful awful first touch he wins the ball back here tries to play the ball to Liam Trotter it's a poor kick out what a chance for Bill Bow. but that could be through here one and one it's a great recovery challenge by Mark Beavers but again I give the ball away it comes to the Marcos he finds Kike Sola who shoots here but McCarthy makes a great recovery save we almost threw away the game there but what a stop by McCarthy to keep the score at 2-0 to Bill Bow. but in the 90th minute here Bill Bow through again it's a by Gomez he shoots from miles out God knows why, and McCarthy makes a simple save. But uh, in injury time here as the game looked like it was going to extra time, a great chance for us to win it. Leon Trotter finds Michael and Goo, and Goo chips the ball over towards Don Goo here. It's an awkward bounce for him, but he managed to chest the ball here, go through one on one, but the goalkeeper makes the save, and Bill Bow managed to get the ball away. So the game does finish Bill Bow 2, Millwall 0. So in a game which was really, really tight, really tough. And with fitness problems beginning to affect us, um, we had to make some changes, of course. And, of course, we had a Capital One Cup final on the weekend against Arsenal, which I need a full-strength squad for. It was really looking bleak for us as we went into extra time. But in the 102nd minute here, uh, Jao Vitor intercepts his man down the left-hand side. Real good pressure by the Brazilian. He keeps uh, keeps holding the ball, crosses the ball in. Michael Ngu with a free header. Brilliant save by the goalkeeper. And then Stanislas on the rebound can only put the ball into the goalkeeper's glove. So still Bilbao 2 mil or nil. And in the 105th minute, we're through again. Again, Malone finds Junior Stanislas, who chips the goalkeeper, but it hits the bar. The ball just would not find the back of the net for us in this game. Everything was going against us, and it was still 2-0 to Bill Bow. And in 112th minute here, we're through again. It's Don Gu down the left-hand side. He uses his pace to keep hold of the ball, crosses it in towards Ngu. His head is well saved, and then Jao Vitor should have found the back of the net. It's a big miss by the Brazilian. The goalkeeper makes the save, and it's still Bill Bow 2 0 nil. And that is how the game finished. So after 120 minutes, after two legs, the score on aggregate is Bilbao 2, Millwall 2, which means we go into penalties here to see who will go through to the Europa League round of 16. As things weren't dramatic enough, we now had a penalty shootout and the first uh, penalty was going to be for Bilbao. Of course, they missed one in normal time in the first leg, but uh, Bilbao stepped up first and foremost and scored. So they made it 1-0 here as they send McCarthy the wrong way and it is 1-0 to Bilbao. Larson, who came on as a sub, took our first penalty here and Larson also sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Great penalty by the reliable Swedish midfielder there and it is 1-1 as things stand on penalties. Mikel uh, San Jose steps up for Bilbao next against Alex McCarthy. Uh, he steps up the number 6 and he sends McCarthy the wrong way. So Bilbao 2, Millwall 1 on penalties as things stand. And Junior Stanislav steps up here who hit the bar in extra time. Stanislav steps up and he also sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. So the keepers weren't doing uh, themselves any justice here as things stood. They weren't playing very well but uh, it was 2-2 here. But uh, Benat takes a penalty here. He of course scored in normal time but he couldn't score from the spot. He blazes the ball over. He falls over in disgust. And that gives us the upper hand here if Scott Malone can convert this penalty. And he does just about to sell. He couldn't get there. And he just about finds the back of the net. So 3-2 to us. We have the advantage here. Abai Gomez then steps up. He missed one in the first uh, first leg. And he misses one here. He's hit the same post twice. Uh, at McCarthy's left hand uh, post. He misses it twice. Uh, hits, the po uh, hits the post twice from two consecutive penalties. Which means if Michael and scores we go through to the next round of Europa League and he does so Michael Ngu for the second time this season hits a winning penalty and we are through to the Europa League round of 16 so a dramatic finish 
but we've made it through. My heart was in my mouth in that game. It was ridiculous, but we have made it through to the Europa League round of 16 on penalties against Bilbao, and that is fantastic news for us. And as always, guys, a big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. That's much appreciated, and it really does help my channel out, and I will see you for the next episode of Career Mode, which will be tomorrow, and it will, of course, be the live commentary of the Capital One Cup final against Arsenal.